Hokey dokey. In this problem, they give us a graph with the curves of two data sets, A and B. A is the green curve and B is the orange curve. They give us some statements and the goal is to identify which statements are true. Starting with number one, the standard deviation of data set A is greater than the standard deviation of data set B. So to summarize, if something has a tighter spread, so a tight spread or a narrow spread, standard deviation, and a large spread, or I'll just call it spread out, oh gosh, spread out, that has a larger standard deviation because uh, standard deviation is like how far are you deviating away from the mean the mean once again is in the middle so the tighter the spread is the more narrow it is you have a smaller standard deviation and the more spread out the larger the standard deviation is. so in this case B the more spread out curve should have a larger standard deviation greater standard deviation than that of A but they're saying the opposite they're saying A has a greater standard deviation than B does. And so that is false. Number two, the mean of data set B is equal to the median of data set A. Now this seems a little weird, uh, but it definitely helps to think about normal curves and how the median, or sorry, the mean, median, and mode, mode's a little insignificant here, um, but the mean and median will always be the same smack dab in the middle. So the mean and median for both curves here are right in the middle so this is a true statement breaking out the eraser we see that only two is correct so d is our answer let's go and do a few more in this case they say the mean of a is equal to the median of a that is of course true because the mean and median for everything here is equal then they say the standard deviation of data set a is greater than that of b Okay, so pretty much the same problem here. Um, this is a false statement because they're saying A, status set, has a greater standard deviation, which is not true because it's more narrow. B, the green curve, has a greater standard deviation. So it looks like just one is correct here. Let's check this one out, different version here. <clears throat> this is what is known as a positively skewed graph. I think sometimes they're called uh, right skewed. Oh gosh, I don't want to mess that up. Let's look it up real quick. All right, so I found an even better photo for this. We're going to use left skewed versus right skewed. So this is in fact a right skewed graph. And so what do we want to know? What do we need to know about these? We can sort of ignore the mode once again. Uh, the big thing is that for a right skewed graph, the mean is still somewhat towards the middle, while the median sort of follows where the maximum is, where the bump in the graph is. So the median is closer to the bump, which means uh, the median will be further to the left while the mean is towards the right. So in this case, they say the mean is greater than the median. Greater in this case just means further to the right than to the left, right? So they're saying the mean could be like here. It's greater than this over here, the median. And so this is a true statement, just referencing this. And then they say the data is concentrated to the right. Now, it's called a right skewed graph, but if you look at this curve, this curve represents a bunch of data stacked up, if you will. Like imagine this was a bar graph and we had like little bars sticking up. These bars would be doing something like this where the majority of the data is stacked up to the left, concentrated to the left, not to the right. So only one is correct in this case. <clears throat> now the last one, they say the data is concentrated to the left. Well, that would have been helpful in the last one, right? But this is false because it's concentrated to the right. And then this says the graph is left skewed. That is correct. So always think uh, wherever the tail of the graph is, that tells you whether it's left or right skewed. So the tail is to the left, so it is left skewed. 
So uh, only number two is correct. All right. I hope these examples help. I hope this was a good variety of things you might see in this problem. If you have any questions, please let me know.